That's me. That's my banner. <laughs> and we are here at Game on Expo in Phoenix, Arizona. I had to miss out last year. I'm going to be here this year. I'm going to be here all three days at this three-day convention. It's video games. It's anime. You can hear the band warming up back there. That's like the, the team of Rare. They're going to be doing like songs from Rare, like Donkey Kong. I just, they're practicing the DK rap a little bit earlier ago. There's wrestling. There's everything here. And here I am looking for the most expensive single video game item I can find. It could be a game. could be a console. could be something. What is the single most expensive video game. I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> I'm just going to see what they have. I'm guessing these are a dollar for coin. So I think you replace, you know, you probably get your thing, you get the coins. So let's call this one dollar, of which, by the way, they're all lot here at Game On Expo. Our friends at Zia Record Exchange, uh, they have some cool stuff here. Let's have a look. Let's see if there we got, uh, da -da 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 -da. let's see, we can say $14.99. And I'm sure we'll find something. Oh, here we go. Ghoul School, $49.99. Oh, and here's Ultima. Uh, Gabo was looking for that one. I'll see if I'll see if Gabo has has that one yet. That's the Warriors of Destiny. And then we have a Chrono Trigger for Okay. 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 Yeah, well we'll we'll call that we'll call that for this table. But I think they are totally decently priced here on everything else. Our friends at Premium Edition always bring great stuff. It's gonna be a set price though, so we have 40 and then 60 on whatever you're looking for. The standard and then the collector's uh, dealio there, so with Love 3, got They Be Plixel, They Be Plixels, They Bleed Pixels. It's a bit early yet for me. This this one's one of my favorite ones. Two great suggestions here. Oh, three of them right here. One of my favorites, one of my favorites, one of my favorites. Love this game. Love, 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 love this game. You gotta check that one out. And for the most part, 40 to 60. This one has, you know, comes with a little bit extra there, so. Look at this, even the uh, the NES homebrew stuff down here too. What if I got one of my games? What if I got one of my games as a thing here? Standard 60, limited edition uh, 100 bucks. Could you see a Choo Choo Mimic as a collector's edition from Premium Edition? We could probably make that happen. We'll have to look into that. See what we can find from Eastman Retro. Something like a $100 Armored Core. We have a uh, that Wolf wolf Child, was that the name of that game? A little Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for 140. All right, so we're getting up there. Here's another one for 170. How about these guys are have a couple things over here. Let's see if we can have a little nosy and squeeze in here. 199 for Project Justice. All right, we are well on our way. The first thing I do is I find the glass case, and we're going to start it off at 140 for Samurai Western. Oh, and Silent Hill too. Four. So so far, so oh, I already see one right here. Look at this. 375. 375. Oh. No, 376. Okay, so 375 is where we're at now. All right, same booth now. Looking for, let's see here, 140. Oh, here we go. Earthbound. Three, 385. Three, oh, and even up the way, 425 for Metal Warriors. 425 for Metal Warriors. Okay, we're going to keep looking. Looking at the high end NES games, and there's some great games in this case already. I'm sure you see several of them that you could probably use. And then right here, Panic Restaurant, we're looking at. 825. So now we're up to 825. Look at this setup. No monitor on my chat. This time we're using the Elgato prompter. Oh, fancy, fancy. Oh, Good lord. I know I got this. Got this guy back here. And then uh, if you look right under the end, of, yeah, is that a Steam Deck? Uh, Rog Ally. Oh, it's the Ally. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, feel weird holding my Pixel 6 in front of this uh, magnificent setup here, but that's very cool. I love it. I wouldn't classify a TV as a gaming item, but I do love the Sharp Twin. All right. I'm on a quest to find the most expensive stuff, just out of curiosity, so that's not bad. Oh, it's even framed. It's even framed. Ooh. <laughs> nice. I do like CDI. Where you got? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, this is quite literally the box. <laughs> I love oh, I love the phone, too. I got one of those on my wall, but maybe I need a replacement. Now, this has all kinds of stuff that I like to see. 80 only. On GI Joe, 50 only for Dragon Warrior 2. Well, they have these games priced to sell. Totally rad for 30. Okay, love to see it. But again, I'm looking for the pricey stuff. And I guess they're not gonna have the pricey stuff here. They might have it down the way. All right, we got some quality, quality, quality NES games here. And with the 550 on Kid Clown, not bad. But you look over here, Power Blade, 1450, minty. There was one time I had two copies of Power Blade. Traded for one. I mean, I traded away one of them. Sold the other one for cheap. No regrets. They used that money to buy something cooler for me. But they have all kinds of good stuff here.
few in here. Thousand. Fifteen hundred for Zombie Nation in Castlevania. Of course, I'm looking for the most expensive stuff, but ten bucks or two for fifteen. I just have to have a little nosy to see what there is, including Time Lord with the manual. Gun smoke. Which variation? That one. All right. Well, let's keep looking. What are you doing, like, behind the counter? I'm so I'm adding <laughs> the game on Caleb One Up app. Shout out to Caleb. Outing my NES games. We got, but Ricky's doing what Ricky does. He's digging and just, he's probably yeah. He's probably stealing. I was gonna say that hat, that beanie he's wearing is getting kind of blocky up there. I don't know. It's starting to. Hey, twenty one. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> this is great. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patricia. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you to Celia for this incredible cake and to Game On Expo. I'm so happy to be here to celebrate with you all. Yay! Make a wish! Yay. You're Yay. melting. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, let's go in. Hey, there we go. I found some, but it may not... Won't work for this video. Let me spin around here. I'll show you. Now these are on display. You've seen this. The Jaguar. Well, it's not quite a Jaguar, but we've seen this before. You know what's funny, Adam? I'm looking for the most expensive items on the show floor. Any single one individual most expensive item on the floor. It, but that's for sale. It's not this because it's not for sale. Technically it is. Is it? it I'm not the owner. Roger okay. is. Okay. Technically it's for sale, but if you're talking like what would that cost? Right. Um, I hope you know like Elon Musk or Bill Gates <laughs> or something because it's going to be like that level. Of yeah. Maybe Michael Jordan, you know, like okay, some, okay. something with actual money. I Nobody see. Here. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's people with money here, but not for that. But it's also disqualified. So let's see. Hmm. We'll find something here right quick. I promise you that. This place is huge. I love this game right here. How wrestling. I played a lot of that. I think it's from um, Human. I think. Um, not that it plays like Fire Pro, but I think it has the. Uh, you know, the kind of the same style. I played a lot of it, though. It was one of my first Game Boy games I had. When I was getting into Game Boy, and I see the uh, Dracula X, the Super Churkin 2. Dracula X, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, well, when we see Hooch Shot Johnny Rock for 25, not bad. But then there's Adventures of Batman and Robin for 90. And then we have Mega Man 8. $600. Like that. Love to see the $200... Zelda version of the Wii U. We saw that a little bit yesterday for 80. But then look at this. GameCube, Game Boy Player, region free. Oh, that spicy orange. 440. I don't know. I think it's a pretty good deal. What do you think? I just thought about it too. Wouldn't it be funny if this was like, did they release this in the UK? Did they release this like overseas, like in the UK, where she would be sitting where the driver sits? That would be scary, scary if that was the photo. It's like, She's driving and turning around looking at him like that. It's like, that's not a good look. Yeah, it's like when you see a stack like this, you just see these random games over here too. Oh, I, I, I see this random game right here. That's a good that's a good looking card there. That's the OG one too. Yeah. What are you doing walking around with it? You just, you just have it in your hands, just chilling? Yeah, I just bring all my stuff randomly. Just... <laughs> no, I, I'll take that, that's awesome. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, I recognize, I recognize this face. Wouldn't mind having a Ninja Gaiden 3 back in the collection here. All right, what are we looking for here? 20 with the manual on Defender right, of the right Crown. Oh, there's my Time Lord. I'll take some Time Lord anytime. Anytime on the Time Lord. That's good to go. My goodness, the language. 300 sealed for a uh, Mario Golf. Used to be 29.96. Remember that, man? Listen, those look amazing. That's the coolest. That's so cool. But here we have these guys here love to see these as well <laughs> like how the cheeks light up when you turn it on it's always a fun time you know, it's funny i'm usually looking for uh, anime on vhs kind of a whole bunch of dragon ball z there so that's kind of cool to see good not looking for it this weekend looking for the expensive stuff this weekend just for fun look at this it's, it's smiling it's smiling at you 
It's smiling at you. Well, this is from our friends, our Retro Bros here. We saw a little bit of their stuff earlier. I'm seeing more VHS. Let me just have a quick peek. You know, I'm looking for the expensive stuff anyway, but let me have a quick peek. What is this, Viewfinder 2V? From Manga Entertainment, nice. <laughs> So, oh, this place is crazy. What of it? You got the not for resale cards here. Do you need a Contra 3, a Donkey Kong 3? How about a Street Fighter 2? How about a Turtles in Time? Turtles in Time, 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 Right, this is, this is like Nintendo Power history even. Yes, it is. Uh, I was in the, uh, for the Mega Man contest, I did, uh, I submitted some drawings. So uh, I sent in eight, eight robots, and this one here is the one they picked, and it's actually the one that I didn't like, because oh. I just kind of <laughs> threw it together. And uh, so this is my re revisions of it after, over a couple, a few years. You know what's funny? I, I literally remember seeing that Optic Man in Nintendo Power. Yeah. And thinking to myself, that thing's creepy enough, it could just work. Make a little collage and bring it for you. That's amazing. That is so fun. I, I love this, too. So awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, man. This is great. Sure. This guy is just opening shop. And I'm looking for the most expensive single gaming item I can find on the show floor. Wow. And I know you always have good deals. That's the problem. So, But there's got to be something that's redunculous. There's some good stuff in here, though. Got the thousand for Gun Egg, thousand for that. Oh, I know, that's the best part. Now you have a you have a signed Mike Tyson's punch out, but there's no price on it. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, uh, somewhere. Oh, it's not on there. It's oh. under there. Look. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Mix it up. What a great deal, though. Oh, see, when you said two fifty, I thought you're like, I thought you were talking about like two thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> 250 bucks for a signed oh, yeah, Mike Tyson. Sold one yesterday. Ah. Oh, Just trying to find the most expensive games I can find. Not bad. 220. Hmm. Elliot, what's the most expensive item you have in this booth? The most expensive, do you think? Part, yeah, part of this guy. Oh. I don't see a sticker on there. Oh, it's... oh no, no. No, the Game Boy, right? What a... yeah, no, the wow. The organization here is. I don't know what I have, though. Don't be that guy. <laughs> This one here. Oh, hey, wait a minute now. Seventeen hundred. Wow. And that is the rarest color too. That's that's something. I've never seen one of those. I do like the Game Boy Pocket. Super clear. No, I'm good. I just I don't want to touch it. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing good. I'm looking for the most expensive games I can find. Roll a rose. Uh oh. That. That's the winner so far. No stickers, but got everything else. Yeah. 21, okay. All righty, all righty. Yep, yep, that'll make it. That'll do it. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can find something more than that, but at least what else you got here. I do like the Might and Magic for 80 there. I'm on a quest to find... That just may be it. I'm on a quest to find the most expensive single gaming item. That's up there. That's up there. That may be it. That's, we'll see. Yeah. Man, you have all. Look at this. Oh. That's, a, that's a clean punch out, too. I love that. That's great. Oh, yeah. Ah, that might be it. Complete. What do you call it? Mod. Or not mod. Uh, region. Region luck. Yeah, you, you, uh, you can play Japanese games on the US PSP. Oh, you can? Yep, yep. Yep, you should be good there. I'm still looking for the expensive stuff. And right about there. The Funk Soul Brother, I see a $2,000 Steel Battalion. Whoop did he do? As I was too busy looking at this, I was just schooled. Can I put you on video? Oh, yeah. yeah go you ahead. guess? I was just schooled by this young lady. Hi, Evelyn. Tell me about uh, how iron is uh, efficient in cereal. I'm just kidding. You don't have to actually do that. We were just talking about that earlier. Uh, said, hey, you know, if you want something that's more expensive than $2,000, 4K, the Xbox, Forza Horizon 5, Barbie set. <laughs> that is something. And for 4K, leave it to Barbie to be what has to be the winner. It's the winner so far. 
I guess we'll find out if this video ends right now. All right, what'd you find? What'd you find? I know, your school, okay. Well, you know what? We'll showcase it. I'm looking for video game stuff, not Pokemon stuff. Pokemon Crunch. But $11,000, that might be the single most expensive item on the show floor that you can actually purchase with real money. But I'll take that. $11,000 for a whole lot of Pokemon.